is COP26 really going to be that watershed moment? And can, can the US and China play their role in this? Sure. I mean, let's look back what COP26 is going to be. It's going to be 197 countries and territories around the world getting, into, getting together and putting together a sensible plan when it comes to the reduction of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. That alone is quite a feat mm. in terms of what we've managed. Now, COP21, which was the conference of parties uh, in France, in Paris, that set the original... Um, uh, system into place in terms of 2050 net zero was a watershed moment. Now, hopefully, as, as Rachel has touched on, we begin to set intermediary targets rather than judging politicians today on targets that they need to get to by the time we get to 2050. But what would make COP a watershed moment? Well, one would be carbon pricing. You know, if we had a sensible price for all the externalities that carbon caused in the atmosphere, we could economically make a better job of abating it if we knew what its true cost was. The EU today is putting together a carbon plan. They're pricing carbon at 110 euros per tonne. A region in, Calif um, in China has actually put, forget, uh, put together um, carbon permitting targets, as has California. But the issue with things like this, and why it only works in a forum like COP26, is that one country or one region doesn't want to disadvantage itself when it comes to trade by putting in a carbon price when other countries and other regions don't. So it's only getting together that you start having these conversations. But if we can make a movement towards proper carbon pricing, I do believe COP26 will be a watershed moment. Mm.